Now, insertion sort is used in a specific scenario where you have stream of integers or where the entire array is not visible in the beginning. So if the entire array is not visible, you cannot make use of quick sort. You cannot make use of merge sort because those all actually want the bunch of element and then they will do the processing over them. So let's say that uh, I'm just comparing insertion sort with other algorithm without knowing what is insertion sort. So let's say that if one comes and I always want the, let's say I want the median of an array. And at any given point of time, your query can come that I want to find the median of the array. So if you want to do that, you know that for finding median, it is, it is the 50th percentile. And so your array has to be sorted in order to find the middle element and that will be your median. So let's say you have one coming and let's say uh, you had, uh, again, the query came about uh, what is the median. And then again, uh, you had a query median. Then you had uh, elements coming as, let's say, 10. And you had element coming as 5, 7. And what is the median again? And again, you can have elements like 7, uh, 4. And what is the median again? Or you can have median after after each element is coming. What is the median? So if you want to do that, if you want to use, let's say, the merge sort technique, seems to be the most optimal one. If you are doing that, then for each of the sorting of an array, whatever may be the size, it is n log n. So you will have an item and you will have to sort it because you, you never know when the median is coming. Or let's say if the median call comes, then you sort an array. But the median call can be equal to whatever the elements are coming, right? Because after each element, a median can come, median request can come. So if you happen to sort them out for n elements if n elements are coming in a stream one by one you will you will apply sorting n times and if the sorting is n log n already and if you are doing it for n times then that will make it n square log n right but if you use insertion sort and keep the array sorted at any given point of time it will only take you n square time so that is why this insertion sort is the best when it comes to handling uh, when it comes to handling the stream of integers stream of numbers and when you require that your array has to be sorted at any given point of time so let's say again 5 came now when 5 is coming then the entire array was empty so i can place 5 here without having to sort it right when the array is empty i don't have to sort anything let's say 1 is coming i want to maintain this in ascending order when one is coming, then I want to place one at the end, but then I will check with the last element. I will always go to an element unless I find an element which is less than equals to whatever I'm trying to insert. So let's insert one here, but then I will do a swap unless I find that the previous element is less than equals to the current element. So I will do a swap here and this will be five. This will be one and I have reached to the first index. So I will stop. Right. So my stream is containing uh, first five came and then one came. So my sorted array is currently one five. Is it making sense? Yes. Okay. So let's say that the next item is four. Now when four is coming, you just insert four at the end. And now you start doing the swap unless you find that the previous element is less than equals to four. Or you have reached to the first element. So you do the swap, this will be four and this will be five. And now when you check this four with one, one is smaller than four, so you stop. And now your array is one, four, five. Now again, let's say the next element was two. So let's insert two here. You inserted two and start doing the swap. This will be two, this will be five. Compare two with four, this will be two, this will be four. Now you compare two with one. And one is smaller, so don't do anything. So now the array is one, two, four, five. Now let's have the next element as eight. Now you compare this five with eight. Eight is larger, so you don't have to do the swap. You just insert and compare and uh, eight is actually larger, so you don't do anything. So you know that in the worst case scenario, what might happen is you are asked to uh, sort it in ascending order and you are getting the elements in descending order. That will be the worst case scenario for insertion sort. And every time you are getting an element in the worst case, you might have to parse the entire existing array once. 
so for one insert you might have to do order of n traversal so for n elements insertion you will have order of n square the best case for inserting one element is order of one because the elements are coming in the same order as it is expected to get sorted in so you just compare with the last element and place it at the end right this will be order of n square so you saw that in this situation in this particular situation it just so happened that this is the best algorithm which can be used i would like to announce about our dsa live training program which will guarantee understanding of every programming concept it makes you interview ready in just 3 months and it will maximize your offers so that you get the best possible pay and in the best possible company you can all the sessions will be live interactive sessions so you will get the feel of a live class and you can ask all your doubts throughout the class in order to get more details please whatsapp us on this given number